the law states that only gay people can enter into a civil partnership. And that's why the High Court this time last year denied Steinfeld and Kaiden's plea to have a civil partnership. They'd argued that they did not have the same choice as gay couples and were therefore being discriminated against. Will they fare any better in the Supreme Court today? As Kaiden explained, opening civil partnerships to opposite sex couples would complete the circle of full relationship equality that began with the hard won victory for same sex marriage. And while that may be true, judges have to uphold the law. So I suspect until MPs agree to a redraft, they're not going to get very far. And MPs have been looking at civil partnerships. It's been timed out in January, Andrew. I think they're having another look uh, next month. I love that phrase, completing the circle. Yeah. And uh, for me, that is the full circle, including same sex in churches and regardless okay. of your denomination. You know, I, I didn't know about this. I th I'm quite well read and I assumed that civil partnerships were available for all, same sex or opposite sex. And I was quite surprised that this particular right, this legal right, wasn't, wasn't available. So I, 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 it's a shame that it's had to go on and on and on the battle, but I'm very glad that they've done this battle because, for me, look, we have, we have religious ceremonies, we have register office ceremonies, we have civil partnerships, it, it goes on. I don't care, really, as long as love is involved. Yeah. You can appreciate that sovereign law... Uh, we've got rules that have been laid down. It's not even MPs' fault, because at the time, they were viewing civil partnership as an alternative to marriage that could be offered to same-sex couples yeah, and, denied and, and marriage. Absolutely, and the right should be equal, equal for whatever your sexuality or whatever your, your lifestyle is or whatever your religious is. That's personally what I believe. But I do, I do hear... I, whenever I read things about this, and this is just me personally, I'm someone who's been very happily married for nearly 12 years. Before that, I was living with my wife, and so I've kind of ticked m many, yep. many boxes. Um, I just hope that... The, the foundation comes from love. OK. There are a lot of people out there, Shazia, men and women, who think they are in common-law yeah, marriages, that yeah. they've lived together, they're yeah. entitled to something, and they don't realise they have no, no claim yeah. necessarily yeah. on their partner's yeah. house, a pension or anything. Yeah. They may have various reasons why they don't want to get married. Yeah. Are those people... I mean, do you think the court should think about those people out there? That yeah, I mean, at a know... time when, you know, especially David Cameron encouraged family life, family unit, there's a lot of single parents out there, there's a lot of people cohabiting. At a time when people are encouraging family life, you should be able to give choice to people about yeah. how they want to cohabit. Equal choice. To... Equal choice. It's, about, it's not about religion, it's about equal rights within the law. I mean, gay people have fought for what straight people want. Of what straight people have got, and now straight people are fighting for what gay people yep. have got. Why don't everybody just have the same rights? You make it sound so simple. But the thing is, gay people, though, gay people fought for such a long time to yep. have the rights that straight people have. For equality, for that's equality. what they wanted. But we've ended up with a law, civil partnership law, that is not equal. And there's still segregation then, because some gay people feel like, oh, you're not recognising us as straight people get recognised. So everybody should have the same equality. Everybody should be Absolutely. given the same look, opportunity. But, of course, as Andrew alluded to, you, you, you know, you get, being gay and getting married in church is still widely problematic. Yeah. So one could argue that we haven't got equality for gay people either in terms of marriage. So you've got inequality in marriage and you've got inequality in civil partnership. Uh, yeah. Two wrongs. But Never make a right. Some people want civil partnerships and they're, not, and they're not religious, but they want to be recognised as partners. Would you consider one? I'd consider anything. <laughs> <laughs> Chesney, what about you? What about you? I mean, I'm completely with these two. I mean, why not have the choice and be, have a completely equal choice all around? I mean, it just... It really doesn't make any well, sense. But does it... I mean, I don't believe it myself, but does the argument that actually gay couples haven't got equality because they can't marry in church broadly... Yeah. Does that, the fact that that equality is left hanging in the air, justify mm. in any shape or form the inequality faced by straight couples who want a civil partner? To me, eventually all of this stuff is, is going to be, as you say, the full circle is going yeah. to be complete. Because, you know, we all know that equality is where it's, it yeah. should be. And, uh, you know, I think gay couples should be allowed to be married in churches if, if they're religious and they want to do that. Why not? It's only well, it's all love, isn't it? You know? Well, that that, so. that would be a, a nice thing to think about. I'm always reminded of uh, the late Peaches Gildoff, and she said that, when, with regard to gay marriage, she said that we will look back in a hundred years' time and wonder what on earth we were all arguing over. Yeah, of course. And I can't help but think that if she was with us today, she'd say exactly the same about this debate now. Yeah. Right. So.
Doesn't happen very often, but we're all united on this one. Do feel free to comment and give us a thumbs up if you feel inclined. For more clips from the show and exclusive behind the scenes videos, click here. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button here to be automatically informed when new videos are available. Links to our other social media platforms can be found in the description. Thanks for watching.